Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's Bee Reviews. Still, on the same day, hours and hours later, haven't slept, and I just had band practice, so I'm completely drained. Uh, I'm going to be drinking something that is really interesting. I can't really find it in too many places. I believe this is the brewer. Uh, I can't pronounce it. Well, I could try, but today's the one day I'm going to try not to humiliate myself. Uh, it is a Hefweizen beer. Um, this is brewed in Germany. Uh, we have a... Oh, you know what? I can't even tell you what size it is, can I? Yeah, 500 milliliter brew. And uh, it's 5% ABV. Sorry about that. Oh, check this out. We got a cool, cool cap here. Uh, it's got the brewery's name on it. And some shields. And I'm going to be drinking it out of my wonderful uh, Hefweizen Hogarden glass. So, let's pop this top. Number one. All right, here it goes. Let's pour this. As a uh, typical Hefweizen beer, it looks very, very blonde. Very difficult to see through. Um, aside from that, we got about a one finger head here. Smells very much like oranges, uh, citrus uh, aromas, very much like a Hefweizen. Woo! That's really difficult to explain. It's got a, for the first time ever, I think that I just had a Hefweizen that actually has a really dry taste to it. No matter how much you drink it, like I'm super thirsty right now, and that part of your mouth where you're supposed to, uh, you know, feel your thirst being quenched when you're downing something, I'm just not getting it from this. It's just gone. Woo! Aside from that, it's very bland. Um, I'm not really picking up on as much of the. Uh, the things I was uh, smelling in the aromas. Would I consider this my uh, go-to beer? I don't think so. Uh, I wouldn't try this as a first-time Hefweizen beer. And it it looks like it's Weizen because it's E can't really see it back there, but it's W-E-I-Z-E-N. It's supposed to be pronounced Vice. Vicen. Like Vice. Anyways, people, I'm actually getting a cramp, like right here, for the first time after drinking a beer. I'm not blaming it on the beer. I've just been through an excruciating day, and just for my own health, I'm going to take this slowly at my own pace. Uh, I apologize. I'm really not picking up on anything special in this, which is another reason why I don't mind cutting this short. Um... <clears throat> you know, I, I tell everybody to try every beer, you know, everything once, right? But I can at least say that this isn't my go-to beer rating. I would probably give this like a two out of five. Um, that's probably what I would give it. It's not that special. One thing that drives me crazy is a uh, is a half Weizen beer um, that just has a bland taste to it. Um, there's so many things that could be going on in there that blow my mind uh, when, I, when I have a really good Hefweizen or Hefweizen. See, I'm already saying it wrong. Anyways, I got I to gotta get some sleep, people. Uh, this is crazy. I haven't slept yet. It's uh, 5.44 p.m. So, uh, everybody, thanks for joining me in another one of Chris's beer reviews. Forgive me for making a short one, not too detailed, but uh, you got my point across. That's all that matters. All right? Drink responsibly. Cheers.